Yes, the board. The board member, please. I don't know, you see they already disappeared. Business, business, fixing hotel. The, the cool stuff of SU, you know, the dark part. All the administration. Wow, cool. So normally we should vote and Serge. Jordi, okay. Okay, uh, as uh, you know, uh, ISAG is a non-profit organization. We have a board who, 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 which is elected. And uh, who are the members of ISAG? It is, those are you. You are the members of ISAG. And this is why uh, at uh, every edition, ISAG edition, we propose the board which we if there are somebody leaving, we, we announce it. If, if we are, uh, there are some other people that are willing to come, we announce it too. <laughs> and then you vote to see if you agree with the change. So this year, we have the, the former board members who are Stefan, Serge, Marcus, uh, Alain, and uh, Damien, and me, who are so you're suggesting to apply again for being part of the board. And we also have an application of Jordi and uh, Luc Pavres who would like to join the board and uh, participate to the effort. I should highlight that we all are volunteers. Are we aren't paid for the job we, are we do. <laughs> and this just for the community. <laughs> So, uh, people who agree with the board, with those members, please raise your hands. You should vote. <laughs> you should vote. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. So, we have the new board. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so we went to bed really early this morning. <laughs> because yesterday we had a brainstorming session and the uh, annual board meeting and things like that. So Serge will present the future action. So again, if you, if you have ideas, just let us know like that. You know a bit what the next uh, potential things and maybe I will comment some of the, the points if necessary. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I would like to do a very quick report of what we want to do for as future action for ASUC. Um, so the we already support a lot of action of uh, events uh, the last year so we want us to, to support even more uh, in 2010 so um, Jordi told us that it will be a great event uh, soon in November in Barcelona ar uh, uh, around the Mozilla and uh, so we like to uh, maybe to to support uh, some talks uh, to during this, uh, this event in November. Uh, we would like also to uh, fund, uh, sponsor the Small Talks uh, 2010 uh, edition uh, conference in Argentina. Uh, what we will also uh, do is uh, we want to have uh, something like s uh, very similar to uh, the what we do in ESUG. Uh, so we want to, to have a volunteers program for Small Talk Solution 2010 also. Because it's very important to have a uh, young blood in- 11. Uh, this is oh, it's 11, yes, you make a mistake in the, in the slide, okay. <laughs> uh, so about the, the awards, so we, uh, so previous years there was uh, the technical, the technological awards. And we uh, introduced some new awards this year, so the best small talk book. Uh, the next edition of this awards will be in 2012 because uh, you need some time to, to write new books. 
so uh, if you want to do, uh, if you want to write something, you uh, please do. Uh, we uh, also introduce uh, uh, what we call a, a marketing uh, awards, but uh, we uh, we prefer to uh, change the name and we. Uh, uh, choose this this name best open source spreading small talk action uh, uh, award and uh, this year it was uh, we, we we do we do that very uh, uh, lately so uh, we, we didn't have time to organize a vote so uh, uh, next year we, we will do a vote for this uh, for this action um, Serge Poiget. <coughs> for the books if you want to write something and then you need help, let us know. We yeah. will try to help Andres because Andres want to write other books and we will help. We ask for support for e copy editing or whatever. Really yes, we, we could uh, help us for the also <coughs> for the infrastructure. I would, really like, I would really like that we have a fair competition for the next book because you know, we, we got trapped in the, in the system that uh, I am in half of the books and we said, okay, I, I, if if either we don't do anything because we said, oh yes, maybe SU is auto proclaiming that they are cool, or we do it. So we took the risk to do that. So now this is your turn to write stuff. Huh? So we can really help for that. We want to yeah. thank uh, Patty. Yes. Patty Gadget, who made the, the diploma and made the mise en uh, You could also help for translation of the books because there is a lot of uh, existing open source books like the Squeak by example, Fauri by example, Seaside book. So if you want to do a translation, uh, I know that for uh, Squeak, by example, there is a French uh, version, and I was part of the team who do the French translation, but we, we need more translation in more languages. Uh, so next year, we like we're going to organize something like a summer school. In fact, this is a spring school for, for students. The idea is to have some um, uh, very high level courses about small talk, maybe a uh, high technical aspect of small talk like VM or, or parsing or something like that. And this uh, school will be sponsored by INRIA and also by ESUG, but if you want also to sponsor this event, you could help us. And if you want to give a technical quote, uh, just contact us also. Uh, Next uh, slide, uh, a really important one for us is the support of local groups. So we need more local groups around the world. Uh, we decide to uh, give 2,000 euros for, for new local groups. Uh, we only need that you set up a mailing list. So it's very important to set up a mailing list at the beginning. And uh, you know, for, the, for example, for the French mailing list at the beginning, it was uh, in 2005 or 2006, we were only three of us here, <laughs> and now we are more than 100 people in the mailing list. Uh, we already uh, support the, the squeak mailing list, uh, the German squeak mailing list oh. in the past, uh, but we want to have something more small talk oriented, not only squeak, but uh, more general mailing list, yes? We should set up a non-profit organization. Yeah, it's very important if you want to be uh, sponsored uh, to have a non-profitable organization. It's uh, minimum request for us to, to, to give you some money. Uh, we already have some candidates, uh, the people from uh, uh, here, from Catalan. Uh, we have also some requests from the Rus Russian guys, and we really want to push the also the, the German uh, to, to, to set up a uh, local group. So if you want to apply, uh, contact us also. Uh, we uh, also decide to do something like a web archives for, for, uh, for small talk resources. So, because uh, you know, right now DVDs, it's a bit uh, old fashioned, so it's better to, <laughs> to put everything on the web. And so we, we would put all the free books uh, already av available, the small talks talk in uh, have different kind of languages, free lectures, etc., etc. Uh, we also want to push the, uh, we want to have uh, something like uh, a teacher network in the United States because uh, there is at, the, at the moment there, there is no uh, small talk user group in the uh, United States and there is a lot of uh, small uh, local groups so maybe uh, uh, we need to push uh, 
uh, discretion of this uh, of this uh, local of this uh, uh, United States user group. There is a lot of the people who are teaching in the, in the university small talk, but we need to have something more organized at, in, at the level of uh, the if country. If so you have some contacts, yes. please let us know. I will try to contact them to, to, to so that we build something. And, and that's really important that we push, that we build a community in the, in the US. So we are ready to help that. So give us pointers because we don't know them probably. And then we should start small. Uh, we introduced a new concept of small talk hubs. So it's the idea is to uh, organize some resources around some spec specific topics. So we already talked a little bit about uh, uh, having some uh, maybe a web page at the beginning to to uh, just to organize all the the project, the resources around uh, small talk and robotics. We like to do the same also for small talk and. Uh, everything related to uh, cloud computing. So the idea is to be able to, uh, com to be able to compare, to, be to, 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 to found all the solution around uh, something, uh, uh, a specific domain. If you have more suggestions, you can also uh, send us a message. If, and if among the vendors, somebody would like to, to take the lead, that would help us. That would we would like to have a, um, Dialect agnostic, not a dialect agnostic, uh, an umbrella where you said uh, small talk on Google and cloud programming, boom, you arrive to this page, and then you have uh, resources for visual work solution, gemstone solution, uh, Faro solution, all that kind of stuff, <coughs> so that people can find their they way in, in these in this things. And then that we have something that is a bit like w we have uh, resources. Now we will not be able to do it wi without you. And that would be really something that I would really like that we push together, because we do something else besides ESUG, by the way. So, not our primary job, yes. <laughs> um, for the sum summer talk, you know, say this is uh, the, the program to help the students uh, works on open source project. So we want to have more projects once a So maybe. Uh, project like uh, Monticello 2 or Xtreme could be uh, have could have some helps uh, for this kind of yes Stefan want to that's not a, that's not only for students huh? this was intended for students but if you are if you have a, a project and you need a bit of support for example that's why I put uh, if Xtreme uh, to wants to be sponsored by ESUG or if uh, Colin want to to get some kick to continue to push MC2 uh, last year we discussed with uh, Julian about that, if I remember well. We got never any email, so you know we will not say, "Guy, don't you want?" want so we were just waiting. Huh? Okay, so you got the message. Uh, okay, uh, we uh, are looking for someone to help us translating the the boot the bot bot in books. This is a book book done by uh, Stefan uh, about uh, using. Uh, uh, teaching uh, computer science uh, with uh, something like robots. Uh, so w if you are interested, uh, you could help us translate, translate this book. Yeah. Uh, we, we want to improve also the, the conference management system for, for the register to the conference. And if you have more ideas to, uh, that sh could be uh, sponsored by here, you are welcome to, to contact us. So. Maybe you have uh, ideas, suggestion for us. So uh, we are listening. This is just a process question for all the people like me who are looking at the process. Can I take it that we're now going to start Norm's talk at te at eleven, not at ten thirty? We're basically this is this is the part of the wrap up moved forward, and we're going to run half an hour late. And people uh, people would benefit from just having the schedule. And shorten announced. the break if you. Well, if we start if we start at uh, at eleven, we can certainly run fine. Or do we want to start at ten forty five? But we should just announce. Yeah, I understood. Understood. It's understood. better to. So